Okay, it's uh, July 5th, and Daniel, go ahead. Yeah, it's been a, a while since uh, any videos have gone up onto our YouTube channel, uh, Christian Remedy and Law. Uh, but uh, we've uh, decided that we also, uh, it would be a very good thought to actually have a separate website. So we do have Christian Remedy in law.org. So if you're curious, you can go to that, take a look at what we have going on there. There's a lot of things happening there. Um, but um, we're talking today um, under the subject matter of the seven mountains of societal influence. Now, what's interesting about that, the world that we live in, in its legal effect under civil status title, we've talked quite a bit about that, in order to exist in the legal world, you would operate, of course, with a legal civil personality known as a agnomen or cognomen, which led to the use of surnames, um, which were just imputed upon someone for the purposes of processing them through a legal system. So this is fiction, and that is the basis, but it does not hold any weight in truth. Unfortunately, people have not done very good research on how they've entered into the world um, without taking a few moments to maybe do some due diligence. So um, we're talking about the seven mountains, and these mountains of influence have uh, penetrated into so many areas, but the seven key areas are religion, family. Now we know what family means. We know what religion is because the religion is generally these registered uh, creatures of the state, trade name denominations uh, that claim that they are there in authority for Jesus Christ, but they're not. They are creatures of the state and therefore they've incorporated Jesus Christ in some manner into some religious imagination and they will call it by whatever trade name, but that becomes a creature of the state and enforceable by the state. Then you've got family. Well, family name really doesn't have anything to do with uh, what you may think. Uh, family in its English translation leads back to the Roman meaning, which was adopted uh, by the English system that goes back to from the highest master to the lowest slave or own servant of the household. So it has nothing to do with saying it is a bloodline. Many people are very uh, much in misunderstanding of that, um, but uh, we're here to make clarity. So the first one, of course, religion, we know that's a creature of the state, secular. Then we have family, which also the surname is a family name, which is a creature of the state, also known as a last name. Um, or this legal agnomination. Then we have education. Well, of course, we know an education system that's based on a public name. Surnames are also what you're known in the public for taxation, the census, and the draft that was originally installed in the 1200s uh, for that purpose where legal memory began. Um, and then we have of course, that education system has to train and uh, basically indoctrinate the legal baby who is basically going to be an issue of Babylon uh, to eventually reach its infant stage into the infantry and then eventually push play in the movie as someone that is now in adultery. Um, definitely part of the public. All these words all have origins in etymology. Then we have the government. Of course, these are legal governments, nothing to do with God. So if you believe that the United States government or Canada or any of these governments that are out there under the UN have anything to do with God, they are in humanism, which denies the divinity of Jesus Christ and says man can perfect himself. Well, what a lot of basically nonsense that is. Then we've got uh, basically the media, um, which works quite well with the government, but uh, the legal government and the legal media, um, these are not of anything to do with God's kingdom or theocracy. So they basically 
deal with bad news, not the good news or the gospel uh, of Christ. They deal with all the bad things that happen to those who participate in sin and debt as a legal body corporate participant. Then we have what we do with all the ones who have literally become with these legal arms surnames, soul dyers, soldiers, basically, um, basically come from uh, what we deal with arts and entertainment, the arts and entertainment, of course, entertainment in 1755 was literally the payment given to a soldier. The original spelling of soldier was S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, which is soul dire. So they entertain the soldiers as they did with people like Bob Hope, who was really giving them false hope, not true hope, because he was certainly not there on the stage to preach the gospel message. Then we have basically the media um, leading to business, and uh, business is everything to do economically because all the legal surnames are nothing more than economic units that are tracked for what they produce. So as Peter said, they will make merchandise out of you by feigned words. So the entire harlot system um, spoken of in Revelation, the seven mountains of societal influence, of which primarily the Pope in 2014 had stated that your given name was Christian, your last name or surname belongs to the church. Welcome to the worldwide collection program that has basically made an influence into what? All religion, family, education, government, media, arts and entertainment, and business. All right. Thank you, Daniel.